what is coming up next with a fabulous new premiere, and I'll see you Saturday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. A match made on TV. Chris grew up in the landscaping business. And Peyton's the best designer I've ever worked with. Together, we're here to turn your backyard into an oasis. With a casual, functional, and family-friendly collection. Designed for you to enjoy a beautiful outdoor space. Chris, Chris and Peyton, Peyton by design. design. Well, I'm so glad you joined us today here at HSN. My name is Helen Keeney, and we are doing a huge premiere. This is the very first one-hour show with Chris and Peyton. Maybe you remember Chris and Peyton. They were on separate seasons of The Bachelor and Bachelorette and met in 2010, 2012, got married, and then have hosted shows together. And, of course, we've seen Chris on many shows on DIY and HGTV, Clipped, Lawn and Order very cute names for all these shows they have created a line for your outdoor space they want to make your outdoor space be the envy of everybody in the neighborhood and let me show you some of the incredible quality items that we're going to be launching today starting out with this blanket nothing is more romantic than taking a picnic and you can take a picnic in your own backyard with this blanket at $49.95 it has this strap I mean this reminds me of of like, you know, British countryside royalty going for a picnic. This is the kind of blanket with that leather strap that you see. So we've got all these gorgeous colors. And by the way, this is part of a whole collection. So I have a rug, I've got pillows, they all mix and match. We've got lanterns, you know, everything's in the same color palette so that you can have that designer space without hiring a designer. Hey, your designer's Peyton. She's done this for you. I don't Number 758-3515, flex pay of $9.99, and then you talk about what you're doing in your outdoor space. How about gathering around that fire pit? I will tell you, my husband has wanted a fire pit since the day we met. We so far do not have a fire pit. This one is gorgeous. And I think it will actually fit on our patio because if you're like me, I'm downsized to like a smaller space. If you're like in a town home, this could be perfect for you as well as big spaces. You could do like a whole couch seating around it. And the style is really gorgeous whether you're putting in logs that you chop yourself from the woods or you're putting those self-burning logs or even charcoal you can do some you know do those marshmallows those s'mores remember that from being a girl scout this is perfect at 129.95 by the way the shipping is seven dollars fifty cents and it is heavy and large that is a great deal and it is brand new we're launching it with the sale price item number seven nine nine eight two eight but come with me as we start out our show and remember I talked about the color palette of the blankets and then the pillows you see on the set? These lanterns are also in that same color palette. So when you get something, by the way, a guy did a, like a sneak pe uh, preview earlier today and he's already bought some of these lanterns. He's telling me the quality is incredible. Okay, so what you have your choice of is the medium or the large of these lanterns, $49.95, or $59.95 and you get three of the candles in the $59.95 and two of the candles in the $49.95. Each one I have four color choices. So this one is called Brick Red and you're gonna see this color throughout the collection. I've got my Patricia Nash, Nash um, scarf on that I think matches with everything. I feel very fall today. So this Brick Red is perfect. We're talking about fall and your outdoor spaces for fall. This is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the galvanized, which I know is the one that Guy bought. Um, when you look close at it, you see some of the modeling and the highs and lows. I mean, this looks like, you know, that gorgeous kind of Cape Cod lighthouse. You think about those, you go to Maine, those places where it's just a, a amazing outdoor spaces. Then we're going to go to a classic black. If the outside of your house, if all your, your, you know, your doorknob, your door knocker, your your mailbox everything is this black this is going to match perfectly and then we also have it available in white and this isn't like a summer white this is kind of like a soft fall cream you can see how it go it has almost like an eggshell color to it so it's not like um 
don't wear white pa pants after Labor Day white. I don't know if that's actually a color, but that's, it's got a bit of that. And I wanna show you how this opens. It's so cool. So it's got like this little swing and you pull it down. Let me see, I just did this before and you open it up. And by the way, this is glass. And that's where your candles are. I mean, this looks like, uh, you know, the genuine um, gaslight. It's just so beautiful. But let's introduce the stars of the show. So uh, I gave you a little bit about them in, in the introduction. I think a lot of people already know who Chris and Peyton are if you're a fan of that TV show, The Bachelor, which I'm telling you, the men in the office have forced me to watch that. It's not the women that love that show. The men are like, did you see what happened last week? So they were on separate seasons, So, which I think is uh, kind of, it will stop a lot of arguments later on in a marriage. <laughs> Separate seasons, right? You guys met 2010, 2012, married. I know you have two beautiful children. I follow you guys on Instagram, stalking maybe a little <laughs> bit. And um, so it's so exciting to have you. And huge congratulations to having your own line here at HSN. Thank you so very much. I mean, it doesn't even feel real. Well, now it does, but it's very <laughs> yeah. exciting. Yeah, and I know yeah, you guys are... We've been working on for a long time. Yeah. We're so happy to be here. How long have you guys been working on this? Oh my gosh, I think that we originally started really putting the line together about a year ago, but it was always something that was in the back of our minds, you know, it's something that we do every day, designing, working outside, and so... We've been searching it for like a decade. I mean, yeah. every yard we go into, we take notes uh, and figure out what's working, what doesn't work. Uh, and how someone can upgrade their backyard. And we've been upgrading our backyard. Well, ever since I've met her, she's been upgrading our backyard and yeah. I'm still <laughs> working on it to this day. Um, but we took all that and brought it into this collection. You know, I know that today we've got you um, on an inside shot and I'm gonna throw this out into the powers that be in future. I would love to see your outdoor space because I know it's constantly changing and I know weather permitting, we will do that at some point. But um, we've got the big, the large ones down here and then we've got, we call it smaller, but these are, you know, 17.7 inches high, eight inches deep, uh, you know, so they're not, they're not little. You can see that these are quite large. Tell us, Peyton, how would you, where would you put these? I, I know they're indoor, outdoor, but wh where would you put these? How do you decorate? Where do you begin? Honestly, there's so many places that you can put these lanterns. Whether you have a giant patio with stairs and you're kind of tapering them down the stairs to show a, a lighted walkway as you're exiting the house and going out onto the patio. That's one place to put them. You can put them on your outdoor dining table or your indoor dining table. I know for the holidays, I really like to take garland or if it's for Halloween, I'm getting little pumpkins and stuff. So this can kind of be your centerpiece on your dining table and you decorate around it. If you have a smaller space, your front door, your front patio, um, just right by your entryway. You know, Halloween, another uh, holiday that's coming up is a really good place to pair these with a couple of pumpkins. You don't have to have a giant space to be able to use these, and it really dresses up whatever area you want to add them to. Yeah, and it says that it's indoor, outdoor. So, all right, Peyton, are you saying it could be like on my dining room table, or it could be on my front porch? I mean, that really is versatile. Yeah, definitely. Indoor, outdoor. So they're going to be weather resistant. You can leave them out in the rain, but you can also bring them inside. So either place that it works for you, it, it'll be a great addition to your home decor. You know, they provide the light outside, but then inside too, you can dim the inside lights and have the candles on for some ambient lighting. And it just sort of sets the mood for your party. If your friends are over having a glass of wine outside, or if your friends are over staying for dessert after dinner inside, you know, you can kind of create that mood and vibe with the candles. You can put them on your mantle. If you have a fi big fireplace mantle, you can put them on your fireplace mantle. Or if you have a fireplace and you don't want to light the fireplace at night, you can even put these in the fireplace uh, and act as a nice little lighting feature. Oh, I love that idea, Chris. I love that idea. And Chris, when you like, somebody says, okay, come over to my lawn and, you know, I want you to make it amazing. There's some things that you do, I'm sure, with uh, dirt and seeds. You could tell I know nothing about <laughs> that. It's dirt and seeds, right? That's all your business dirt, is. Dirt, seed, and water. Yeah, okay, right? water. Yeah. I knew I forgot something. I... I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a green thumb, but when you finish making it gorgeous, aren't these the kind of finishing touches that really take it to the next level? You know what, you need to tie a yard together and you can have a nice lawn, you can have a nice patio, 
Uh, but the reason why our shows were so successful is that, you know what, I do all the grunt work. I can I can make a long grow, I can put in a nice patio, but when it comes to making it beautiful, uh, that's where Peyton comes in. I mean, it's little touches like these lanterns and what you'll see later on, like some of the, uh, some of the blankets and the umbrellas and the rugs. You know, he doesn't give himself, himself enough credit. credit. You're getting better with the finishing touches. <laughs> I, I'm rubbing off on him a little bit. Like he was helping us set up for today. And you know, he, he's learning how to place everything and tie it all together. Well, I noticed the first thing Chris wanted to do is take the remote control and turn it on and off, which is a typical. That's <laughs> my favorite thing to do. Yeah, I know, I can tell, I can tell. I can do that all day. <laughs> he did a great job of it too, Chris. And you know, I'm actually gonna grab one of your pillows, Peyton, because I want to, I want to show, I want to show how like you've tied the whole thing together. Because okay, so these pillows are coming up. They're a set of two, and you see the brick red in the lantern. And imagine this like on a little table outside, and these are true outdoor pillows. I'm mentioning these because already two of the colors have sold out. You get two of these. These are my favorite, and we have these available. Uh, it, it's a two pack. We'll show the other one. Um, and then you've got these beautiful pillows. You've got this lantern on a little table. All of a sudden, your little outdoor space where you just had like some you know, just like a little table maybe to sit down. All of a sudden it's welcoming and it looks like designer. And to have a pillow that's outdoors, <laughs> that's that's quite something. I mean, that's like the sturdiness. And by the way, I know this one has a zipper that you can take it out and clean it. Like it's really like the quality of everything. You've got to really have it next level quality if it's gonna be indoor, outdoor especially. So I, I wanted to show this with the brick red. I think that's so beautiful. So. Well, let me do a close up, another close up of opening it because in the large and the white, this one's already getting limited. So if you want the large and the white, this one's flying out the door. I can see how you could mix and match and it would go with everybody, but you've got glass on all, all four sides. So you may look at this and think, oh, that's kind of pretty what, you know, you're getting this and I want to make sure that I show this with my, goes up. It's just turning it and goes up. It opens on a beautiful hinge. Look at how, you know, Guy was telling me these things are so beautifully made. And then you've got glass here. All four sides are glass. And these are included. The candles are included. Three with the large, two with this size. I mean, it really is a spectacular for the price that you're doing. And they're not available anywhere else. So keep shopping, 075-806. All right. We're going to continue on. Oh, we're going to take a look at the umbrella. Okay. So this is coming up in the show. And having an, sorry, am I on camera? <laughs> the outdoor umbrella uh, is over here on the set. There it is. So it has a solar panel. And when the, you know, at nighttime, you can turn it. There's an on-off switch, which I'll show you. And it actually has the lights will illuminate. So there's no batteries, you have to plug it in. It's charged by the sun and it's also articulating. And I actually asked the crew to have it tilted to show you how beautiful Guy was able to, you know, kind of tilt it and show it. Peyton, who's 5'7", pointed out that she easily could do that, but I'm tiny uh, height-wise. And uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody saw how gorgeous this is. Again, you're seeing the color scheme. You see that brick red again? You see that navy? And then it's also available in that new neutral taupe colors. So that's coming up in about 14 minutes. $119.95, five flex pay of $23.99. So we're gonna continue on and we're gonna talk about the picnic blanket. First of all, these are 100% cotton, 80 by 60, 80 by 60. And I think I'm gonna open one up so you see how big it is here. I can do that here in the studio. It will, there it is. Look, you have to step back. Look how big, I can't, my arms can't even go as long as this is. So all the way there. Maybe I can hold it up this way. <laughs> if I can't. I'm not, again, again, Payne, this is why I miss you guys in the studio. Chris would definitely be <laughs> tall enough to, to hold this arms. up and show how big this is. But I have been re-watching for some reason Downton Abbey, and I feel like this is a prop from the Downton Abbey set. <laughs> you know how they always go in the British countryside and they have, they bring the picnic and that's where they're always proposing to each other. It, you know, the, Downton Abbey is like the, um, it was The Bachelor before there was The Bachelor. <laughs> 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 I, love, I mean, like, that's right. You can take this anywhere. Um, one of my favorite parts about this blanket is it comes with this nice little leather carrying strap. I know for us having two little kids, 
we are always on the go. And I think every time I leave the house, I'm like, do I have everything? Um, so having this right by the back door allows me to remember. It also allows him to remember because he's the one that leaves the house without anything. And then it always sort of works out for him. But I have to pack all of the things. So having the blanket with the strap right by the back door to grab and go is perfect. Then we can use it if we're going to watch our daughter at soccer. We can lay it out on the grass for our son to have a place to play. And then if we're going to the backyard, you can have it as a picnic blanket out there. Or if it's in the evening and it starts getting a little chilly, you're on the front porch having a glass of wine, you're on the back patio by the fire pit, you know, Oh, you're so, right look up. at how I'm gallant he is. Look at, he's showing off for yeah, TV. Right? Is he like that all the time, or is this just like, he's just trying to look like a... No. <laughs> he is, he is like this all of the time. Aww. So I'm a lucky girl. That is so cute. I love that. Uh, let me let me go through the colors. Let me just tell you that the rust color is already the most popular. Here it is right here. This rust color, again, is gonna go back with that brick red. You guys are already getting it. It's gonna go back with the pillows. Already, You're already in that. Then we have this navy blue, and let me just show you these. I'm obsessed with these pillows. So here's the navy blue, and look at the pillows. So you get the navy, and then you've got these pillows these, that are coming up and everything like goes back. And by the way, you could do this color as well. That's called, um, I think it's just called gray, right? Is that right, Andre? Great, okay, <laughs> yes, I know. It's, and sometimes it seems very simple, uh, uh, Chris and Peyton, but this job is actually very complicated. Is it gray or is it called something else? Okay, so gray, yellow, uh, rust, and navy. But when you're seeing like everything kind of come back together, um, that, that you see that really, and actually I really like the yellow with the navy. Peyton, am I allowed to do that, the yellow with the navy? And yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I was actually gonna point that out, is that a lot of people feel like you have to match everything, and you don't. There mm -hmm. is no one size fits all for all of these items. You know, I love mixing blue and yellow together is one of my favorite combinations. And then also looking at the red with the charcoal, you know, all of these going together. You can see the different shades in the lanterns, the blankets, the pillows, the rugs. If you want it all one color, that's not bad. You can do all one color. But if you want to mix it up, don't be afraid because that's the fun part about it. You can mix and match with all of these pieces. And for me, I like that it's machine washable. So when I take Hayes, who I call Pigpen, you know, out to a soccer <laughs> game, he can lay in the blanket, at the end of the day, it's dirty because, you know what, I'm dirty, he's dirty. I don't know where he gets it from, <laughs> right, uh, yeah. probably from me. But then you can you just throw it in the wash, clean it, and mm -hmm. then it's good to go. And Peyton never knew that I got the blanket dirty, so it's perfect. Yeah, and I'll also point out, I actually live at the beach. This is a great beach blanket as well. So if you are, you know, taking a little drive to the beach, even the fall when it gets, like, a little chilly, you've got your sweater on, it, it's going to be just perfect. So you will, you will love that. So keep shopping for that blanket. It is machine washable. It is 100% cotton. But we're gonna now talk about the pillows. And I, I feel like it's kind of like the most important thing in, for outdoor accessories is pillows. Peyton, I have learned this the hard way. You can't put an indoor pillow outdoors, especially in Florida. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not no, going to elaborate no, on that's what not happened. Work. <laughs> it was a science project. Let's put it that way. All right. Yeah. We definitely need to get you some outdoor pillows for <laughs> your outdoor space. And these are great because they're still soft. You know, you don't pick them up and, and feel like plasticky hard pillows that you don't want to sit on. They're still soft. You just pull out the inside insert and turn them inside out to wash them. So really easy to bring them inside. If you happen to leave them out in the rain, it is not going to ruin them. It's okay. And also they're gonna do nicely in the sun. They're not gonna fade out. So you can use them outside and then you can bring them inside. Unlike an inside pillow, taking it outside. These can go both inside and outside. They're super soft, they're fluffy. We use them on the couch and then also for our kids, we'll throw them on the ground if they're having a picnic. Um, you know, we've been trying to do more stuff outside with them because it just makes everybody's life easier when the kids are outside. So if we can have lunch outside, if we can play games outside, I'll be, yeah. It'll be nice outside, so it's great to sit on these with the, you know, combine that with the picnic blanket outside and you have a great movie night venture. Oh, this is gorgeous. $69.95 for both of them. By the way, this is a capsule collection. Everything is very, very limited. We have a few hundred of each, and that is all. The item number is 758-347. We've got more to come. Um, Andre, am I just walking over here? 
Okay, I'm just gonna walk right over. All right, so we're gonna continue on to our next item, which is a two-tier 29.6 inch decorative stand. Again, you see that brick red color and then the black. So the black would go with the brick red pillows, which go with the navy. The brick red pillows would go with the brick red stand. I feel like I want to bring those pillows. I, I mean, I can just keep carrying these pillows around with me wherever I go for the entire show. But I want you to see how this is a collection that if you want to redo a space, look how beautiful that is, that brick red. You've got this little kind of pretty decorative outdoor. You've got a couple of pillows and that completely changes the space. It's $99.95, five flex pave under $20. And and you, there is some assembly uh, required, Chris. How, how easy or difficult is this to put together? Be honest, don't so lie to er me. <laughs> everything, in the, everything in the collection I put together myself. And this is very easy. A few screws, it's together, and it's sturdy. It can hold up to like 200 pounds. Uh, I have it stacked outside by the five foot. I have some wood underneath. I actually have planters on top, so it's actually multi-use. You can use it for just about anything. And I'm not gonna lie, we have a black one inside by the in the mudroom, and it is a shoe holder. Oh, well, pretty beautiful shoe holder. You know, when you said a 200-pound weight capacity, I thought, that can't be right. And I'm, like, looking at my card because I have all this, like, legal information. 90 pounds legally per shelf, 180 pounds. That is... Yeah. That you know what that is that is a lot. So you could even do like a little garden, like if, um, maybe like an herb garden on this, or a big uh, I, big pot. I have some plant. Yeah, yeah, I have some plants on top. I have an herb garden on top, and then underneath I have wood stacked for the fire pit. So typically, if you have a fire pit like oh. a wood holder, it's not that attractive, you know. So You're you put right. some plants on top and uh, it trails down a little bit, it actually makes it decorative. So you're not just looking at, you know, an ugly wood holder. You know, stack the wood nicely on the bottom, plants on top, and it's easy. So you can lift it up and move it around depending on where the fire pit is. Uh, and, you know, the fire pit that we, we sell, it's movable as well. So if you're having a party, you can move stuff off to the side, or when you want ready to have the fire pit going, you move the fire pit out, you move the wood holder out next to it as well. Uh, you know, I, Chris has really been working on getting our daughter involved. She's four and a half. And so the other day he had her actually stacking wood. So this piece is, is small wait, enough. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say that you, you're, that Chris, you have your four and a half year old daughter stacking wood? I think that's a little bit like oh. Little House on the Prairie. I mean, that's a little, <laughs> she <laughs> you guys it. are like way. She, <laughs> she loves it. She can stack wood. She can mix concrete. I mean, I've taught her a lot already. Wow. She earns her keep. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. If my, my daughter is 21, I can't get her to empty the dishwasher. I'm sending her over to your house <laughs> to be retrained. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. I'll put, I'll put it to work. Okay, come please. I, I've tried. <laughs> I'm failing. I love that. And Peyton, these, you, we're talking about these in outdoor spaces, but as you move, because I've just recently downsized, you know, you go from a college dorm to an apartment to a house to a bigger house to a smaller house. To, I'm sort of in the stage of my life where we, we downsize to a beach condo. I just have like a little patio. And I think that this could be indoors or outdoors. We're taking a look at uh, a pretty little, uh, it, the way you do it from indoors from an indoor perspective what would you do with that oh absolutely you can bring this inside and use it as a little side table like you have set up there in the studio put a tray on top it's a great place to put a drink you can have a base of flowers it's just like a little decorative element for the corner of the space so using it outside it doesn't just have to be a wood holder we talked about putting plants on it you can hold your blankets on it um, you know, really anything you need to put down, you can put on this holder. And like Chris said earlier, we have one in our mudroom. I was getting really tired of all the shoes being everywhere because it's another project that we just haven't gotten around to is doing some cubby storage in our mudroom. So we put one of these and Chris has his shelf and I have my shelf and the kids have their cubbies. And so it's my attempt at making sure everybody stays organized. But this oh. stand is, you know, it's strong enough. It's durable for inside, outside. Whatever you need to store, whether it's blankets, firewood, um, plants, or shoes. shoes, using it as a drink table, I think this is not a one-size-fits-all. There's something that you can use this for in a lot of different spaces in your house. You know, I love the size of it, too, because for something that weighs eight pounds, 
It weighs eight pounds, yet there's a 200 pound weight capacity. So that's right. that's very, you. that gives you an idea of the quality of this piece. And I know it's kind of hard when you're on television to see it, but I'd love to do a close up shot of the brick or, and you, you can see how beautiful, look at how gorgeous that looks. How I want to say expensive, high end, it really is something that you can just sort of elevate your outdoor space because of how beautiful and high-end it looks. The item number is 756282. We do have FlexPay under $20. Please write a review. This is the very first show. This is the launch of the brand. So we're super excited for all of you who are picking things up. And when you get when you get at home to write a review, um, Chris and Peyton will be reading those reviews. Their four-year-old will be building an addition onto their house, but they'll be, <laughs> they'll be reading the review. So we're going to come with me. We're going to talk about rugs. Now, here's another thing that when you talk about indoor space, outdoor space, you don't want to do an indoor rug outdoors. And there's a lot of reasons, but, the, but these are so beautiful and these are truly indoor outdoor. And I've got three sizes here. So you've got the five by seven size here, which is 60 by 84 inches. It's, uh, did I do that one? This is the five by seven right here. This is the five by seven right here. This is 79.95, five flex pay. Then you've got the three feet, three inch by seven feet. So a longer and then narrower here. And then the largest one is six inches, uh, six feet, nine inches by nine six feet, nine inches by nine feet. It's 81 by 108 inches. This one is 129.95. And we have two different color choices. So you're seeing again this brick red, and then you're also seeing the blue that you're looking at. So these, this is gonna be coming up in just uh, a couple minutes, but are we gonna now talk about the, the umbrella? All right, let me, let me pop over to the umbrella. Okay. So this is, first of all, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look how huge this umbrella is. We've got it in our, you know, big set here. I know that it might be hard at you guys' house to open this up. I didn't realize how big it is because we were chatting before the show. I was like, just open up the umbrella and show that. I didn't realize that you had to be living in like in a cathedral because <laughs> it's an outdoor umbrella. So you've got the lights and I don't know if we're able to dim the lights during the presentation, but there is a solar panel at the top of it that charges these lights. And I think we've got them on right now. Let me say, yep, they're on right now. It's hard to see until we dim the lights. And it also comes, there it is. You can see that, you can see that they're on. And it also comes with a carrying case. Uh, we've got three color choices with the umbrella. I've got this beautiful brick red, I've got navy, and then I've got a stone taupe. So you, you know, you crank it to open it, and you know, with, the, with this turning, and by the way, I opened and closed this, they're very easy to open and close, but you've got a little button that you push here, and you can articulate it, you know, because as the sun you know, sets, you articulate it so that you keep the sun away. This is really beautiful. And what what is this material, like what is the umbrella itself made of, guys? So this is polyester. It's gonna be great outside. The sun's not gonna fade it. It's gonna be fine with the rain and the, um, the elements that you come in contact with when you've got your umbrella outside. You know, we wanna stay outside as long as possible. That was the main reason why we created this line is to have these pieces that you can be outside and experience the seasons. We live in New England. It is cold for a really long time. So getting outside is something that we have to do. So this umbrella, um, during the day, you need to have some shade. You need to have some protection from the sun. But then in the evening, having that added light feature so that if you have friends over, you're having dinner, you want to stay outside for a glass of wine, you have a little bit of lighting under there that is going to keep people outside for longer. You're going to be able to extend your party and just really enjoy your outdoor space. So during the day, block the sun. At night, keep it up and you get the lights going on. And this solar thing on top is great. I mean, you just literally twist it in, uh, really easy to put together. 
Uh, and then during the day, it just charges in the sun, flip a switch, and you have that nice ambient lighting underneath. So, you know, if you're entertaining and you're far away from the house, you don't have to run an extension cord. You don't have to worry about lighting because it's solar powered. So it's gonna save electricity, easy to use. Again, you don't have to worry about running a cord and tripping over a cord running across your yard. You have light right at the switch, right at a, at a switch right there, easy to go. Right, and you don't have to worry about it being shorted out by a, you know, rainstorm, you know, with the, when there's electricals, everything. This is powered by the sun. By the way, there is a base available. I know some of you have tables that you would like to put this in the middle of. That would be gorgeous. You don't need, you know, but if you if you want to do it freestanding, there's a base available. Item number 762732. The base is $49.95. Then you can see how pretty it is. Let me show you where the switch is because that took me a second. So I, al I also <laughs> like the design there, right? because it's not like this big switch. So it's right here. I'll turn them on and off. I don't know if you can see that. You see how they're on and off? It's just with a little switch right here. It's, it's right at the edge here and it's very much in the design of it. And I know that each element of this has been thought out. The quality, I, I know that when you have an idea for design, the next step is going to a place to ma actually make it for you. And the place that made this makes like the highest end really, we're not allowed to talk about say what it is because they sell other things for like huge, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This is a incredible buy at $119.95. And also you're getting five flex pay. I do have an update. The taupe is getting really, really limited. So if you want the taupe, you need to be ordering right now and think about that. Maybe you want, maybe you're having like a small gathering outside and it's like, you know, may, you know, you want to keep everybody shaded or you're eating. And you know, even if it's like a light little rain, I'll tell you in Florida, it rains every single day on the dot at 3 p.m. It rains every, if you're outside with like under the umbrella and you see like a little rain and you're, you're just enjoying it, like having that protection from the sun and the rain outside, it really extends how, how much you can be outside. And the way we're living right now in the world, it's kind of like better to be outside, right guys? I mean, that's where a lot of people are it's entertaining more, now, right? Well, it's more fun to be in your, it's more fun to be in your backyard and people can really see just the size of it. I mean, you look so small underneath that umbrella because it's nine feet wide in diameter. I mean, it's big. And we actually have two set up in our yard. We have one uh, in a dining table and we have one freestanding. So that way if we're sitting at the dining table during dinner, if it gets dark out, we flip a switch, we have the lights, then after dinner, we have one that we can sit in a, in a comfortable chair and have a glass of wine, flip a switch, we still have lights right there. And the whole time we don't have to worry about you know, electricity or anything. Uh, that, that's one of the keys that I love is that it's easy. You know, I'm, I'm busy, he's busy, we have kids, we have jobs, we have a lot going on. So we want our friends to come over, we want to be able to entertain outside, but we want it to be easy. So being able to easily crank this umbrella open, flip the lights on, like it's, it's simple, and then you're ready to entertain, everybody has a comfortable place to sit, and um, you know, it's, it's just, it's a great umbrella. It's so sturdy, like you were saying, the quality. That was one thing with this line that we really, really wanted to, to make sure we had quality pieces. Mm -hmm. I've had umbrellas in the past that, you know, they just flip up and go inside out with the first gust of wind. And we're really proud at how sturdy these umbrellas are. Last. Just like everything else, we want everything to last because every yard we've been to, you throw away a lot of stuff because it wasn't made to last. But you want the lanterns, they're rust resistant. The umbrellas, they're made to be outside. They're not gonna fade. The rugs won't fade. The pillows won't fade. So this stuff is built to last. It's and built for enjoyment. I yeah. Think in the past, I've had to get rid of stuff after one season. So this umbrella is gonna last for however long your season is. You know, ours in New England is a little bit shorter than others. I'm you know. She's from Tennessee, so she's you know used to a little bit warmer winter. weather. I don't see the winter. She's getting better with the with the weather, but and it has a great little storage case. So once the weather does come, you you can store it for for the spring again. So it's perfect. Yeah, and you know it. It's so well made, you're right. And what would you rather do? Would you rather spend, you know, $90 on an umbrella that you're gonna have to throw in the garbage after one season or your $119.95 on one that's gonna last you year after year after year after year? And I love the fact that those beautiful lights, I mean, it's very, very, very romantic. It's, I mean, it's romantic to kind of be outside with a little bit of the lights and, 
It's it's like that, um, that's all me with the romantic. You know, that was, that <laughs> you was my touch right that? there, Helen. <laughs> oh, I'm is taking, that all you? Yeah, anything any, anything romantic in the feature? That's 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 me right there. You know, <laughs> I'm the romantic. Peyton just looked at you like she wasn't quite sure that was the truth there, Chris. I don't know. <laughs> He is, but, you know, it's like when he starts tooting his own horn about <laughs> all, all these features that he came up with. Well, because your kids are doing all the work, you guys have more time for that, the romance. Right, we're just <laughs> You better hope right. they don't unionize <laughs> or... <laughs> all right, you, this is just, and by the way, um, you know, just feeling this, I mean, th this is made of like, I want to make sure I know that the actual, the metal in this, some of these actually can be plastic when you go to the store. If you go to those home stores, or, you know, improvement stores, this this is real metal and huge. The, I think I've got the dimensions on that, 94 by 105. I mean, it's huge, ginormous. And you can also, an eight feet tall, and you can articulate it. There's a a little button right here and then if I I can't quite reach it and I <laughs> but 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 you can you wow. can push the button and articulate it we should so have had guy guy wait for this pr show so he could do that for me <laughs> but it's it's again uh you know when the sun you can adjust it for the sun or you know kind of leave it i i like to have the, it's that tilt it looks so, so beautiful and by the way you can see tilted you've got the base it's so secure that it's not like this isn't falling over on the set and everything like what you were talking about peyton like the ones that flip up and they only last one season this is a completely different animal. You're getting an incredible deal on this because of the quality. Um, and there's the item number for the uh, base. It's 762732. That base is made to be perfect fit to this umbrella. So, it, and it's a great, you know, kind of neutral decor for everybody's outdoor space. Five flex pay. It's only ten dollars to add to the order to get home. So I definitely would grab that. And it does come with a cover too. So I had a question. If you get one of those attachments, could it go into the sand? Could you bring this out if you did like an outdoor beach thing? Yeah, I mean yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Because they make those that screw right down into the sand to secure it. And so, yeah, just put the umbrella right in there. Think about an evening on the beach, how that nice that would be to be able to flip those lights on, be sitting yeah. on the beach right as the sun is setting. I mean, that's just the ideal setting for me. Yeah, I, I agree because I've, I, you, I bought those little attachments to an umbrella and then gone to the beach with it. And you just, it, they're, they look like giant kind of screws and you just screw them into the sand. Yeah. So I think this, and this only weighs 14 pounds. So it's not like it's, it would be this huge thing to take to the beach. So Chris, when he, when he sets up that sunset beach picnic, you know, cause you're Mr. Romance, right? This, this is what you're gonna use. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. Throw it right here, beach chair in the other hand, and you're ready to go, or to a, a lake, or to a game. I mean, you can bring it to a ball game, uh, you know, if it's hot out during the day, and just pop it up, and you're ready to go. You know, I love that idea of bringing it to the game, because I remember my daughter's little, you, you're sort of sitting there for hours baking in the sun yes. for whatever sport it is, you know, the lacrosse, the soccer, football, whatever it is. Um, you know, power lifting, whatever your kids are doing. I'm not, I don't know what you got your four-year-old. <laughs> so it's sort of like, um, and these are so gorgeous, but apparently the taupe is your favorite. So this one is getting really limited. If you okay. want to get the taupe, uh, definitely order now. And you know, it's interesting. We're getting a shot at the top of it. You can even see like the top of our sets. That's how tall this is. Um, so you've got almost uh, 94 inches high, 94 inches high, 105 inch diameter. Very, very big. The item number is 762212. Um, Andre, are we, what are we doing? Are we, oh, we're talking about the base real quick. Okay, so there's a shot of the base. Let me give you the item number for that again. It's on your screen, but it's 762732 at 4995. Five flex pay of under 10 bucks. So for under 10 bucks, if you're gonna, if you have any plans to keep, okay, we're gonna leave this in the in the patio space in the backyard, I'd grab the base. It's, it matches perfectly aesthetically and size-wise. So it's it's great to have that. And uh, then we'll send it right out to you. We'll ship it for just $7.50. There you see it. So it, it, and obviously it goes with all of them, but come with me, staying with us. See the taupe, the red, the navy, saw the pillows. Saw everything. We're now gonna talk about these outdoor rugs. So excited about these outdoor rugs because I think if you go to like a store and say, okay, we're gonna grab like a nice little rug for the outdoor space. I feel like sometimes stores 
aren't specific about what's indoor outdoor. They just have like, like these giant like racks where you go like this and you turn them. You know what I'm talking about, Peyton? They're like these giant like clothing racks, only they're ginormous with rugs. And you look at each one and you go, I wonder if that's indoor or outdoor. Or what about this one? I wonder if that one, and it's never kind of clear what's what, but these are 100% indoor, outdoor, gorgeous, brick red or that navy. And you can see all the topes and the neutral colors in it. We've got three sizes. You've got your smallest size which is three feet by seven feet. That's $44.95. I've got a five by seven in the middle. That's um, $79.95. And then I've got the largest one, which is 81 by 108 inches. So it's seven by nine, like seven by nine feet. And that's $129.95. So let's talk about these rugs, Peyton. So I love an outdoor rug because my kids come home from the beach, we're playing outside, they get sandy, the dog. We have a very large dog. She loves to dig in the backyard. And so her muddy paws are always coming all over the rug. I can just spray it off with a hose. It is so easy to clean, shake it out a little bit. And then once the season's over, I can bring it inside. The one that we have on our front step, I'll leave it out there for spring, summer, early fall. And then when winter comes, I clean it off a little bit and I put it on the inside of the door. So then when Chris is coming in with his muddy boots or when the kids are coming in with their snow boots, they have a nice place to land before they come into the house. Yeah, and, and if you want to get more than one, I mean, maybe you've got like an outdoor space and then you take the other one and you can put it in the indoor space. One of the things I've learned from watching shows that you host, Chris, is that taking the outdoors and bringing it indoors, this is one of the ways you can do that. Exactly. I mean, these rugs are great. Uh, it's funny because we put one out on, on our back patio uh, right underneath one of the umbrellas and our dog, Summit, went and laid on it. So it's Summit approved. She like laid there. <laughs> she wouldn't move. So, and she gets her hair everywhere, but I'm like, it's fine because it's an outdoor rug, so it's easy to clean. Um, and it, it, again, it's functional. So you can get different sizes depending on the size of your patio. If you have a townhouse or a small outdoor space, or even if you just have a, um, a small little patio off your house, you can get a smaller version for that. So it's great that it comes in different sizes, so it kind of, it fits whatever your yard is. And you can mix them too. Like if you have multiple spaces, like you can have one on your patio, you can have one on your porch, you can have one under your outdoor dining table. So there is a proper size for each of those areas. Um, if you had a larger dining table, you can put the largest size underneath that for your seating area, maybe go with the middle size. And then the smaller size can be um, even between two lounge chairs or on your entry, like we were saying before. So the indoor outdoor material is great. And then also it's reversible. So you can flip it over, you know, um, it doesn't matter how you lay it out, either side works. Yeah, and you know, Peyton, I, I'm reading about how it's fade resistant. Tell everybody at home that's watching, you don't think about an indoor rug being fade resistant, but how important is that? And I'll, I'm gonna flip this over and show you that it is, uh, you know, either side, I'll flip it over. So th that's one side than the other. So how, why is that so important, fade resistant? Look how gorgeous this is, both, both sides. Well, it, all of these pieces, you know, it's so important to me being a mom and a working mom is the simplicity of being able to put something outside and leave it there and not worry about, oh my goodness, it's gonna be full sun today or it's gonna be pouring down rain. I've gotta go and pull all this stuff inside because it's gonna get ruined. You know, making sure that these products were fade resistant, were weather resistant, they're gonna hold up to the elements is really important to us because you wanna put it out, you want it to be able to improve your space, make it beautiful, make it comfortable, make it functional, but it also has to be easy. You know, we don't wanna run home and have to pull these things in at the single drop of rain. And then on the flip side, you don't wanna have to worry about it staying outside because the sun's gonna bleach it out. And you don't think about waiters well, it's too late. You'll, you'll move a couch and then all of a sudden underneath the couch, the rugs are completely different color than the rest of the rug. So, yeah. and if it's outside, it just, it's exp exponential how much the sun does damage to things. So if you don't make something uh, outdoors fade resistant, then it's not even worth buying because in the course of three months, it's not gonna look like it's blue anymore. It'll be faded to a completely different color. But with these, you're not gonna have to worry about that. Yeah, and I wanna talk about the design because I love that you did a border all the way around and inside it's geometric, but those kind of chevrons almost look like little ferns. Like there's sort of this, 
it, it, it really kind of leaves the whole space open to however you want to lean. I, I love it with the decorative pillows. Again, me and with these decorative pillows, I don't even know if we how many we have left. But I, I mean, you, you think about what would you do to have a luxurious space if you look at like those magazines where the celebrities have, you know, those beautiful pools and everything. If you have some beautiful decorative pillows, this rug and whatever little seated area you have, all of a sudden you've got a designer Peyton designing for your house and this is again a capsule collection this is limited so when these sell out they're they're going to be gone by the way the brick red in this five by seven which is this size right here are th is the most popular I'll hold still so you can get a close-up of the pillows again sorry but um <laughs> I, you know that's another thing is when the camera comes to you that's when you start moving <laughs> d d like sorry my I'm producer Rebecca didn't like together that. Right my there. director I mean yeah the the stripes on the rug showing the chevron on the rugs but then how it mixes so nicely with the pillows yeah i think a lot of people are afraid to mix and match patterns and so this shows that you know you have the similar color tones you can mix the patterns and it all works really nicely together it does i'm actually grabbing the brick red because i want you to see this this has been really popular with the rugs so you can see them together because I will say that I got a little rug for my outdoor space and I remember standing back and going, okay, that looks like a hundred times better. It, it makes it look like a beautiful area. It kind of creates an area where it, what, there wasn't one before. That's what, a, that's what an outdoor rug does. And you think about redoing your entire, uh, the five by seven in the middle is $59.95. You get the pillows. So like for about a hundred bucks, you're completely redoing your whole entire space. That's pretty, pretty economical. Yeah, I think Chris will tell you, a lot of his clients, you know, they say, what do I do in my yard? They have this big open space. They don't know what to do. So beyond what he's doing with the landscaping and the hardscaping, just start with one area. Build a seating area, put your rug, get your pillows, and then build out from there. If you want to add on a dining area, then you get another rug for your dining area. But I think you, you said it so perfectly. You have this rug, it defines your space, and you can kind of build it out from there. Yeah, so keep shopping for these rugs. They're really beautiful quality. And again, Peyton had brought this up earlier in the show, season after season after season. These are not one season items. These are items that are made to last and last and last. All right, we're now gonna talk about the fire pit. A fire pit is something that I think that people have seen them in movies and they've gotten to be popular. I think there's dating shows on TV where people get dumped around a fire pit. I'm not sure where. <laughs> it seems like that's where the most crying happens is by the fire pit. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think that's where it happens. Uh, because there's something very romantic where you kind of have clarity about your life around a fire pit. The design of this one is so gorgeous. You knew I was gonna go there, Peyton. You knew I was gonna let that go. <laughs> <laughs> so $129.95 and uh, the item number is 766-828. So you've got, the, okay, first of all, a screen. I know you guys have kids, we're teasing about your kids, but you got little kids. I love that there's a screen that's kind of protects them, right, Chris? This is, so this screen is important because when uh, anything sparks come out, mm -hmm. this deadens those sparks. So it makes it very safe. It's sturdy, so it's not going to tip over. Uh, there's little things like inside it, there's a little hole inside, so that way if it does rain, the water drains full, drains through, and you're not gonna have like a little puddle inside. Uh, and then you have a little tray right here, so you can put the logs right on that tray because what does fire need? It needs air. If you don't have one of those, you're not gonna have a good fire, you'll get too smoky, and no one wants a fire that's too smoky. Um, so then you put that screen right on there, you have the fire going, uh, you no know, sparks will come, it's not gonna hit the kids, it'll be safe, but at the same time, you know, you want to take that off and have s'mores. You have this little handy thing. If it's hot, you can pick it up like this, move it out of the way. Time for s'mores. You put that back. Easy. I don't know if you can tell Helen, but Chris loves a fire pit. <laughs> yes. This is his favorite thing in the world. He, he could. Like, if we ever have a fire in the backyard, he will just sit there. It's his meditation zone. Yes. He's just is totally into the fire. I, I Chris, uh, tell, explain, to, explain to all the women watching, what is it about men in fire pits? <laughs> It's like, it's like, you know, nature's calling right there. You know, it's like 10,000 years ago, you wanted to sit by a fire and, and keep warm. And now even today, every guy wants to sit around a fire, have a beer, relax, and what better place than this? And what I love, again, is that it's easy. So once you're done, you can move it off to the side. If you're having a party, 
And then once the party's over, you can slide it back out, put a fire in there, sit around the fire pit. So it's easy. Uh, it's big enough that you can have a good fire, small enough that even if you have a small space, easy to use. If you're going camping for the weekend, throw it in the back of the pickup truck, take it camping with you. Um, if you're going tailgating, bring it with you uh, to a tailgate party. So it's functional. It's easy to carry and move around with you. So uh, it's not just for your backyard. It's for if you go on trips as well. Yeah, you know, I'm actually going to show everybody that because when I walked around to the set, I, I thought, oh, okay, this probably weighs 100 pounds. I'm looking at my notes. It's 12 pounds. So... I mean, that is a pretty, I mean, that's pretty pretty light to, when you said throw it in the back of the car, I can throw that in the back of my car. I actually could take that camping with me. And it's definitely safer that when, especially you don't want to start, be, you know, fire safety when you're out into the wilderness to contain that fire. That's very, very good thing to do. So to have it in a fire pit, let me ask you some uh, technical questions. Can I put charcoal in here or is it just wood? What do I put in here? I. Uh it's, it's built for a wood burning fire pit, so it's perfect for that. Um, so that's why we have the wood holders with it, so it kind of piggybacks off of that. So okay. I'd stick with wood on this one. Okay. Um, what about really those, what about those fake honest. logs? You know those logs that you get that you light up and they kind of yeah. burn for, can, oh, that's, can you use those? Well, that's cheating, but yes, you can use one of those. <laughs> yeah. You put one of those fire logs right in the center, but the trick is you gotta hide it with the other wood so it looks like you started the fire from scratch, all right? So that's the right way to start a fire. No, 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 I've been rubbing two sticks together to get this fire going. But in <laughs> hey, reality, I, I, you open it up, you look under there, and it's one of those fake pieces of wood. All right, Chris, <laughs> I, was, I just wanna say, I was a Girl Scout, and I got my badge for starting a fire, so I, <laughs> I'm asking for all the customers out there. I am, a, I personally, <laughs> would be able to rub two sticks together and start a, a fire if that you know was what? the challenge. H Helen, come on up. You're invited to our house. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that the criteria? Come on up for some s'mores. If you can start it, it a is. fire, <laughs> you can come on over to their Lala house. Lala can start a fire already, you know, oh, so she's, she's good. <laughs> was that the test for Peyton? <laughs> Let's see if she can start yeah. a fire. <laughs> okay. I know. Yeah, I I leave that to him. He's yeah, I was going to say. Setting the fires. I will get the s'mores ready and get the kids ready, and we'll, we'll all be good to go. I love it. Peyton, let's talk about where we have it, like, in a little set like this. Where would you put this? Obviously, this is outdoors. This is for outdoors space. Right. So wherever you have your seating area, you know, right there, you can see it in between two chairs. Um, I like, personally, to have chairs in a circular formation just with the circular design of the fire pit, it kind of lends itself to have seating all around. Um, it's, it's small enough that you can comfortably fit, you know, four or five chairs all around it and everybody can still feel the heat from the fire pit. But then too, if it's just the two of you, Chris and I can put two chairs right next to each other and, and still enjoy it. There's no really right or wrong way to how to sit around a fire pit. Um, you could also, you know, have some cushions on the ground and sit low. It's, it's low to the ground, so you don't have to be in a high seat around it. Yeah, I, I love it. It's 30 inches is the diameter. The height is 20 inches. And so because of that, you know, you could, you know, carry this out to the, you know, beach or, par you know, whatever with fire safety, clear everything away, set it down and have the, you know, around the Girl Scouts around there. I, I think that would be great. Or in the backyard. I think we're creating our own entertainment in whatever spaces we're in nowadays. I think that's kind of the name of the game. And this is honestly, what I think this is the most portable fire pit, but it that also looks very high end. I mean, even on the legs, I do, I'd love to do a close up of the legs. There's these decorations, Peyton, I'm sure you had a hand and making them look beautiful because you see that they've got like um turn that towards the camera there you see how they've got like the decorations it, it's a uh, extra details Peyton yeah so this is almost like a little basket weave it gives it a little design element a little bit of texture so it does make it look a little bit more luxurious so you're not just having this plain black metal fire pit it becomes a decorative right. feature um, in addition to the rest of the pieces in your outdoor space. Yeah, basket weave. I think that's what I was searching for in my head. I was, could not remember what that design was called. Thank you. That's why. See, that's why. That's why I don't do these shows alone because I don't know what I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just know that it looks pretty when I see it. I know it's an extra detail. I know that it really adds to it. I will tell you what impresses me about this is how lightweight it is. How all the features. I mean, Chris mentioned the hole in the middle. So when it rains, it's very very practical. Where you've got, it's able to 
drain like it doesn't fill up with water. So you've got like this hole drilled here so that if it rains, uh, then it's not gonna fill up. And then you've got this great, you, you know, you put your, your logs or your wood on that. And then if it's got sparks, you're able to have this safety over it or leave it like this when you're not using it. And then also to be able to kind of take this on and on and off. Chris, is this, do you just hook it like this? I'm not like an outdoorsy, yeah. like, is that right? Or is yeah. there like another way? You got it. Is that just it? Just like hooking a fish. It's like hooking yeah, a fish. You got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. So, oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. All right. So Great. easy, even a show it, host it can it do safe. it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it makes it safe. And, and like you said, it's light. So that way when you're done using yeah. it the next day, it's easy to, you can put it in your shed or your garage. Yeah, uh, very light. Know, or if you have, like I said, if you have a small patio, you know, if you're having people over for a dinner party, you can move it off to the side. Once dinner's done, you can slide it back out, light it, have a fire afterwards. So, you know, yes. it's very great. It's great for a functional space if you don't have a lot of room to set up, you know, a fire pit area and a dining area and a, you know, living room area outside, you know. Not everyone has a huge backyard. So, this is good for people who right. have a, a backyard that you need to have multi uses in it. Are we supposed to clean it up at every time you use it, or do you just like relight the logs? How does that work? Well, so once it's done, you take this off, you take this out. You get a little shovel, you pick up those ashes, and those ashes are actually great in your garden. So you oh. take that and you sprinkle that stuff right in your garden. It's great, for, if you, or if you have compost, you put that right in your compost as well. So uh, you're actually gonna have a better garden if you get this fire pit. Because <laughs> it's great, you know, the ashes are really good for uh, composting. I actually had zero idea about that. I did not know that. that that's, a, that's a great tip. So this is um, the final item in our show. I know that we've got, uh, we want to talk, we're going to mention the umbrella one more time. I know it was really, really popular. If you want to go to hsn.com and put in Chris and Peyton and see everything that they have, this is their very first one hour show. So what do you think about doing live TV from a remote space? How, what did you guys think of the experience? I think it's super fun. I mean, we, we love working together. We love being on TV. This was a, a totally new experience for us. It was fun to work with. Oh, hey, listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So I was excited. To, I was excited to be working with you guys. And, and this is going to be, we're going to get more and more stuff from you. And we're going to be able to have amazing outdoor spaces, not, and not spend a lot of money to get like this high end look, which I really, really love. So if you want to grab the fire pit, the item number is 766828. And it's a, it's a, but we also want to show you about the umbrella. Let me just give you a peek at the umbrella. The umbrella was, you know, everybody loved it. And we're super excited that you're saying yes to this umbrella. It is eight feet tall. It has a power by the sun. It is a solar powered LED. Let me see if I can, let me, let me see if I can uh, up this way. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, holding my cards. I'm gonna do it. Here she goes, here she goes. I'm opening, <laughs> there I go. There we go, there it is. So there you've got your uh, umbrella and I know the switch, let me see where if I can find the switch. There it is. You've got a little on off switch right here and that's the little lights light up all throughout it. And there's also a little button here that you can articulate this umbrella. This is the taupe. This color was the most popular. Also brick red and navy. Chris and Peyton, thank you so much. This hour just flew by. It did, thank you so much. Ellen, thank you. And to everyone who's buying stuff, thank you so much. I can't wait to hear how much you love it. Uh, send us your feedback, I'd love to hear from you. All right, we definitely will. And follow them on Instagram too. All right, I've got two more hours shopping with you with Patricia Nash handbag, so stay tuned. There are so many reasons to shop HSN during our Brands You Love weekend. We're bringing our biggest names and brightest stars together just for you. Shop with us throughout the weekend for valuable deals you'll really love on HSN and at hsn.com. I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. 
you can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening your Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. Perlier is an Italian bath and body company rich in history and tradition. Never far from where it started, Perlier is old world skills mixed with modern day science. Driven by a focus to treat skin with the best ingredients, Perlier continues to develop innovative new lines while staying true to its culture. Discover luxurious bath and body rituals from Italian botanical gardens with Perlier. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person.